Hello everyone, welcome to Bow and Arrow Tarot. Today we're going to get right into the weekly love outlook for a particular connection that uh, Taurus has with someone. Alright, so this is for you Taurus, January 4th to the 11th. If you're a regular on my channel, you know what this reading is all about. I'm going to pull cards for you and your person and see what you guys are going through this week. If you're resonating with this. Um, if you're new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. Let me shuffle some cards and see where are we at this week. Particular connection that Taurus has with someone. Alright, your person Taurus is coming into the week Wheel of, Wheel of Fortune. You're coming in with... Queen of Wands. Wow. They see you as a three of pentacles and you see them as a three of swords. They desire moon energy and you desire four of wands. What needs to happen is five, uh, seven of swords and for you, ace of wands. Wow. We'll get to the bottom of the deck uh, at the end of the reading. Um, hmm. Interesting, interesting. So, Got a little odds, right? We're at odds here. We have some, you know, a little bit of toxic energy here. Um, let's get right into it, Taurus. This week, your person is coming in with Wheel of Fortune. You're coming in with Queen of Wands. So you're kind of really like, um, you're coming into this week. Queen of Wands is really kind of being very, you're being very sort of uh, cognizant right now of what's going on. Very in the moment. Queen of Wands is very wise. Right, uh, she provides counsel. She has wisdom. She has experience. She also is really tough. She's emotionally tough. She can go through some really tough ups and downs emotionally. And we talk about the Queen of Wands as being the one who really goes through the fire a lot. Right, she comes out the other side stronger, more radiant. But she's able to go through uh, the real trials and tribulations. Right. Um, emotional uh queens are always water so here we're talking about the watery aspect of fire right so it's the emotional side of uh your passion and your energy and this is a week where you're really going to be engaging this it may be that you're coming into the week with this energy people may be coming to you this week seeking your counsel taurus um you know but in any case you are coming in with a real kind of uh i want to say experienced attitude like I've been here done that right okay so your person is coming in with Wheel of Fortune they're kind of coming in this week with a real feeling of um, you know lucky feeling very lucky feeling very fortunate it's a kind of an upbeat week for them Wheel of Fortune just indicates that this is a week where they've got a lot of good opportunities coming in the wheel is just turning for them when the wheel turns it just feels like you're going through a period of having like Really great luck, really great opportunities. Everything is kind of working out for you. More than anything, the Wheel of Fortune really talks about a period where um, you are kind of that feeling of being at the right place at the right time to snag that opportunity, right? To be afforded that opportunity. A lot of times it can feel like it was meant for you. Now, how do you guys see each other? Interesting. Here we start to see some of of what's going on a little bit of a difference here right so we have two threes but very two very different energies your person sees you as three of pentacles you see them as three of swords well three of swords is a betrayal right a betrayal so you know this is a week and i think that might be why you're coming in with that queen of wands because it's like you need her wisdom and strength to deal with what's going on right now because three of swords is betrayal Right, Three of Swords is uh, is um, being hurt, uh, having your trust broken, right, by someone. Uh, a lot of times I see this card interpreted as a cup card. It's a Swords card. Don't forget that. So it's really more about having your ego hurt. It's about, you know, your trust has been broken. Someone, and it's trust that you've established with someone. Now, of course, sometimes this can be third-party energy, but it doesn't always have to be. It can be, you know, you can have your trust broken a lot of ways. Now your person is seeing you as three of pentacles. Three of pentacles is, you know, uh, this is interesting. They want to come back. To, I think they want to build with you. They want to build with you. They want to um, forge ahead with you, you know, deepen the bond. I almost wonder if they know this is how you feel about them. All right, Tara. So I feel like 
your person may not be completely aware that you're seeing them as a three of swords, that you're seeing the betrayal. This might be the week where a lot of it comes out, or it could be that uh, you're still holding on to it. Because they're seeing you three of pentacles, so they really want to move forward. They want to move on. And then when we go ahead to desire, well, here we go. What uh, what do you desire? Well, you're desiring four of wands. So you're desiring that strong relationship. You're desiring that twin flame connection where you both have the same level of love and respect with each for each other. Four of wands, more than anything, is being with somebody that you love as much as they love you or you have the same level of respect for each other. There isn't any difference in um there's always dynamic differences in relationships you know where you feel you know stronger than the other in certain areas and they may feel stronger than you or more dominant however it plays out but with four of wands one of the reasons why this is the soulmate card 11 11 is because you both are really coming to the table equally with equal level of passion, love, respect, and understanding, and just you're just coming to the table equally, and it really forges a great relationship. More than anything, that's what you want, but you see them as a three of swords, and that the trust that you have with them is broken. They see, uh, they desire, uh, what they desire is really to know what to do. The moon talks to us about a feeling of being tested, not really knowing what to do, not really knowing where you're at, um, being a little bit frightened, a little bit unsure because, um, to, you know, the, the path isn't really quite laid out, right? Uh, the moon only shows us enough to get ahead a few feet, but it doesn't show us everything. And it's a testing phase, right? Because Major Arcana 18, uh, it is the second eight. The first eight is strength. And so as we gather strength, you know, when we go through times gathering our strength, when we get to moon energy, it's like that strength is tested. And so your person is feeling, um, I want to say they're feeling tested, um, but what they really desire um, is to know what's going on. I feel like they certainly feel as though they are unsure about what's happening. And that could very much be because you're presenting this energy Taurus here, this Three of Swords energy. Something's up with them that you're really not 100% about, but you want it. Right, you want the four of wands, but you're not a hundred percent. And a lot of this is coming out of the fact that you have queen of wands here, which has seen some of this behavior before. It's like you already know. You know, queen of wands is the quintessential card for knowing the writing when the writing is on the wall. She knows it, and yet there's something going on here. Now, what do you guys both? What needs to happen? Seven of swords and ace of wands. Well. Seven of Swords is the card for futility, right? And so there's a futility here in this relationship. Let's get this. Uh, there we go. There's a futility here in this relationship. Seven of Swords, Ace of Wands. Um, this is also the card for treachery, the thief and the knight. The person, in a lot of ways, the person who uh, is the thief and the knight, they don't want to work for what they want. Oftentimes, they want to take it. Right. Um, and it's also and that is why this is also the card for futility, because you just can't get what you want that way. Your person really needs to realize this. So seven of swords is a feeling to me that, you know, there's something going on here in terms of their behavior. Right. Uh, where they just continue to let you down. Ace of wands is what needs to happen for you. So there's a new passion that needs to come into your life. So Tar uh, Taurus, I would say that you really need to kind of find the passion. Right. Ace of Wands is a great sort of, it's the, the it's the it's the great phallic symbol in the deck. So it also represents passion in a relationship, sexual tension and attraction. It almost feels as though, to me, Taurus, that you're dealing with somebody here who you want the Four of Wands, you want that strong relationship with, but because of their behavior, right? They may be very childish. They may come across as somebody who is oftentimes. The Seven of Swords energy, you know, very, very childish, right? Acting in a futile way, not really succeed, succeeding at things because they're really not putting the time and effort in. And, you know, they really want to know what they're doing wrong, but they're kind of lost with it, right? The moon talks about really being kind of tested, you know, and so you may be dealing with somebody who feels like they're always being tested or feels like they're always out of their depth. And something about their behavior is really making you feel this three of swords energy. This week, you certainly see them this way. And I want to say it's not, I don't, I don't necessarily think that it's because they've cheated or they're with somebody else or anything, but it's something about the way they're behaving that is giving you this really kind of uh, energy of like not being able to trust them 
there's a feeling here that you're not really completely sure if they're totally loyal to you, again, based on their behavior. Yeah, this is going to be a difficult week, and more than anything, I, it'll be a difficult week for them. For you, Taurus, it'll be kind of like, you know, if they don't come up, if, if, the, if, the, uh, if the attraction doesn't ramp up with this Ace of Wands, it's... You know, I think it's going to be kind of a no-go, you know. Not necessarily a no-go, but you're going to get distracted, right? You're going to get distracted because more than anything, what needs to happen for you is is, is uh, passion and excitement is what you require. And so if they're not bringing that here, I don't know. Let's go ahead and pull out the animal spirits and see what kind of animal spirits you're working with this week. It's just a weekly outlook into one connection you have with somebody. The spider... And the eagle, we're there. Okay, well, the spider's earth eagle is air. And the spider is uh, the great dharma spirit, right? Animal spirit. The spider talks about how, you know, you get what you put in. You know, uh, every step in our lives, you know, the spider is uh, the weeb web, uh, the weaver, right? The web weaver. Excuse me, let's get this focused. There we go. Um, but the spider's the animal spirit of dharma because it, it, she reminds us that as we work, right, when we when we make on a day-to-day, moment-to-moment basis, if we are careful of our actions and, and our intentions, right, and if we live according to our own spiritual code, our internal code, if we make all of our decisions based on that rather than compromising that or being spiritually lazy, then our, our decisions and, and our movements and our actions that we take will form a pattern. And that is what the spider does. She weaves a pattern based on her commitment to her spiritual center so that the types of decisions and the types of moves she makes are going to be consistent. And they provide a strength that the web provides, an emotional strength, spiritual strength. It also provides a financial strength because this is an earth spirit card. We're talking about how... You know, the moves that we make and the way we carry out our lives, the way we live our lives on an earthly, practical level need to be entwined and connected with our spiritual moral center to be able to weave that strong web for ourselves, right? And the ego, of course, is uh, air energy. This is beautiful, beautiful, determined uh, energy, right? The ego is all about determination and self-realization. Uh, the eagle is, uh, you know, whenever we are uh, asked to be our best selves, right? We are challenged to be our best selves. The eagle is at play. That's the animal spirit that is at play. Because the eagle is all about bringing its A game at all times. Not being lazy in any kind of way, but always putting its best foot forward. And that's what's being asked of here, I think. Really in both ways, for you and your person. We're talking about really stepping up to the plate putting your best foot forward, not being lazy with that seven of swords, right? Not being treacherous, not being willing to just take what you want, but really working for it. Um, and that, I think, is going to be the center focus this week for this connection. What's at the bottom? Well, there we have six of cups. This is generally a relationship that you have with somebody that's very pleasant. Uh, you're very good friends. You enjoy each other's company very, very much. And so there's no surprise that Four of Wands is there in the sense that you definitely want to be with this person. But I want to say that there is, um, these are the challenges. As I've raised them, these are the challenges that, you know, um, you're dealing, you may be dealing with somebody who really needs to work a little bit harder about putting their best foot forward and not succumbing to sort of like laziness or fear or self-doubt. Um, and that's a difficult thing to do, but this is going to be the main focus here for those resonating with this reading, those Taurus resonating with this reading and your cross watchers. All right, guys, love you so much. I hope you got some clarity out of this. This is just your... Outlook this week, your love connection uh, outlook this week for a relationship that you have with someone in your life um, right now. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed it, if you got something out of it, please like, subscribe, and share. But for right now, lovely Taurus, I shall see you guys next week for your next love outlook. Bye-bye now.